The world needs you. You know, what are you waiting for? The more unbalanced we are, we are creating that outside creation to be more chaotic. September Ascension Energy Update. We're in a massive worldwide healing crisis right now after a huge summer of influx of diamond light codes and all the other codes. This has just been a bombardment of light on the planet and it creates massive integration periods. Now, we are in such a, let's say, rare time where almost every single planet is in retrograde here for September. Um, massive time of going inward. Of course, all eyes and ears are on the external, all the horrible things, the fires, the disasters. And that has also been on purpose. Again, you can watch my other video talking about fires and artificial timeline wars for a lot more. Um, after this video, because I have a lot more to talk about in this video, about September and understanding how we are in the process of creating the inner garden, the inner creation to birth ourselves brand new. The world needs you. Okay, September is one of those magical months being a numerology number nine. Nine, if you've watched more of the video 369 uh, Spirit Code, you will know that nine doesn't really exist in our, um, let's say, particle reality. It's an anti-particle number. So for that, you have to watch that in my other video, but I have a lot more to talk about. So interestingly enough, whatever the universal number of the year is, so 2023 being a seven universal year, two plus zero plus two plus three equals seven, the September month will always be the same. Nine is kind of like an invisible number that doesn't really exist. And this is all to do with the Merkaba and lots more. So check out the other video after this video because I have a lot more to talk about. So September is a seven month in a seven universal year. So talk about balancing the huge influxes of light that we've been receiving. Um, of course, August was so powerful. If you've been watching my other videos, um, you know what I've been talking about. We are in the maximum of maximums in every single way. And Leo, of course, being that, that fire energy, the amount of light that we've received is unbelievable. Now we need to organize it. We need to purify ourselves. Virgo season, which again, if you heard me talk before, the zodiac signs aren't actually accurate. Um, they're off by a lot. And actually, so the, the true alignment of where Virgo, the constellation, is in the sky actually runs from mid-September until the end of October. So if you thought you were a Libra, you might actually be a Virgo. Just know that it's all about where the actual stars are in the sky but that's for all of the videos so don't worry about that but um but virgo alchemical energy is all about purifying and integrating embodying that light into the body it's all about the physical body um so purifying of our physical of our emotions of everything that is to do with aligning our new hugely powered energy that we've been receiving bombarded with for so long. So September and really into October, Virgo season is all about really using what we've been receiving, been bombarding ourselves with in very practical, grounded ways. Of course, we are in Mercury retrograde. You've probably been hearing that. Um, so you probably know a lot about that, but really that represents miscommunication, um, you know, a slowing down of projects to like a standstill, feeling like, you know, we're kind of going backwards. Um, you know, communication's kind of off. We can see people are kind of scattered. They're kind of everywhere. Um, so again, nothing new because we have Mercury retrograde about three times a year. Now, Venus retrograde, we've been really in receiving that, um, those alchemical changes for a couple months now. And we are now going to be having Venus go direct. So remember, this is just in relation to where we are. Remember, the, the planets don't actually start moving in opposite directions. But Venus actually already spins in reverse. So um, 
Planets have been used to harness our energy into patterns. Let's just say in the past, it's been going on for eons, nothing new. Um, but that is what we are literally healing on every single level. So it's not just the planet healing and us. This, this change, this rapid transformation evolution is happening in every um, area of the solar system. So every planetary body is being realigned. And all of these, these, let's say, connections and coordinates are being crystallized into higher patterns. Now this goes beyond the solar system into the galaxy and beyond. So again, watch my lots of my other videos where I talk about all that. But Venus, you probably have been really reevaluating your life in many ways, because um, Venus really is in between us and the sun. It's it's this powerful. Um, uh, this powerful celestial body that really influences a lot, not just relationships, but finances, um, just a lot going on in our lives that we've been reevaluating. So it's all the re words, right? Reflecting, releasing, reevaluating, refining. So you might have been really going internally, figuring out, whoa, this relationship or this lifestyle is not working. You know, I'm not keeping up with my bills or I'm not feeling that my needs are met in any way and I'm kind of at the end, the tipping point of that. So as Venus goes direct this month, we're going to be really making those hard decisions of things that we've been internally feeling for a long time. Now, it's not about making any rushes. Remember, we are in massive retrograde of retrograde of retrogrades. Everything is telling us to go inward, deeper 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 okay so even if you feel oh i'm fed up i'm done i'm okay i'm gonna you know make this rash decision go deeper because maybe a person in your life for example a partner has been triggering you into not wanting to look at your own shadow or your own things right so our relationships if you watch my other videos um really show us our biggest wounds and those voids within ourselves, right? You are literally that, that spark, that chemical um, attraction that you have to someone is literally because of, it's like that magnetic pull between you and another. They have what you need in your energy and you have what they need. And when their energy starts, uh, let's say, clearing through that, that wound, that trauma, that blockage uh, within you, right? Because when you are together, then those energies, right? You will start merging energies. And when, when, you know, our wounds start getting triggered, most people go running, right? And so again, it's all up to you. Do your own major deep inner guidance right now. It's all about internal saturn our favorite planet okay this planet has been in retrograde for quite a few months now um but it will continue to be we are kind of deep in the retrograde now of uh, feeling massive overwhelming responsibility heaviness um the need to create order and discipline in our lives so a lot of times you know it's kind of a reality check and it really makes us go down to the right making those changes Saturn's all about restructuring our inner chaos. So it really is that, you know, that reality check that we need to make the hard decisions to move forward. Now, again, we're not, you know, blasting out of the door and moving forward right now. This is still the internal work. So make those, you know, start figuring out what are those daily little tiny things that you can do? What are those daily habits? that will continue to bring you into a new paradigm in your life, a new pattern, a new energy. Um, you know, what are we doing every single day to contribute to the absolute chaos out there in the world, right? Right now people are in, you know, finger pointing mode. Oh, it's all these horrible people out here doing all these random things. And that just brings people into victim mode. That's the opposite. So Saturn is really that reality check that we need right now to see where are we going wrong? What have we been putting up with all these different things? Okay, now we have Neptune retrograde. This has been going on since the beginning of July and will continue until December. So, you know, Neptune is kind of that 
that energy that the archetype of kind of the fantasy you know we're kind of in our dreamy world we're in the magic and when it goes retrograde it's kind of like you know a huge reality check of the fantasy is over and life gets you know life seems mundane it seems hard it seems like you know um wow all these things that i thought it's now the opposite. So this is why we will continue to see within our own lives, as well as massively in the world, huge spiritual awakenings, dark night of the soul moments, right? We can see it happening already. People, you know, what people thought the world was is changing. So it also is a time because it's, you know, moving us inward, of course, you know, instead of um, you know, worrying about living in a fantasy out there with kind of all the fake stuff, it can really help us to develop our own practical intuition and creativity within. So it really is about birthing that, that, you know, that magic within yourself from a point of practical realness, right? Now, the world isn't just some mundane world. The world is about magic. You know, if you watch some of my other Instagram reels and TikTok, um, subscribe to those if you haven't already, because I, I talk about lots more. But it's really, where right, we have to understand that you have to develop the inner magic within you by crystallizing your own being. And then you will get the feedback loop in your hologram of that magic but if you're living in a fantasy world right not wanting to look at the deeper darker things or the shadows within yourself the traumas all the things hidden that you right have been avoiding that the world has been avoiding then this is where they come blasting out into reality remember we are in ascension times which means we're healing all of the past which means you can put your head in the sand and run away from what is you know um, in our minds bad or negative or dark but darkness is actually just a void of light right it, it is something that has been denied suppressed hidden hated and during neptune retrograde it's a perfect time to go within yourself all those little shadow aspects of yourself and really start to see those as points of potential a uh, points of where that magic was was hidden or was removed from you, but it's about bringing that back, that magic back within yourself. And you have to do, right, dive deep into that inner realm. So this is why, again, we're seeing huge amounts of people waking up to spiritual gifts as well, right? Healing is super important. Meditation, calming down the nervous system. Um, because, of course, there's chaos everywhere. So really refine the inner self and you will find that you become so creative. Like, like I'm talking genius level that you can develop right now. And of course, those psychic abilities and things like that. Uh, let me know in the comments, too, if you guys are interested in learning more about developing your your intuition, your psychic abilities, all these different things. And I will think about doing some more content on that and, and even maybe a course. Um, Cause of course, you know, I talk about all these things and I kind of realize, you know, I'm kind of talking about a lot of things, but I, there's so many more topics that I could be talking about. You know, I've been on, on this path my whole life and I've, I've developed so many different levels of myself as far as, you know, things from shamanism to, um, you know, developing all these intuitive gifts, right? Uh, we don't ascend without doing the inner crystallization. So I have lots to offer, but yeah, I have no idea what people want to know. So let me know in the comments. Thanks, you guys. Okay. So Uranus typically is, is the planet about, you know, huge, massive shifting, like out of the blue and changing and just like all of a sudden things are different in an instant well when it goes retrograde which it just started at the end of august and we're going to be experiencing this for the next uh five or six months um until the end of january um it's about really turning that need for change out in the world to the need for change within us the inner transformation 
the inner, like I've been talking about this whole video. So we might see in the world, of course, restrictions on freedoms and restrictions on, um, you know, new technologies and the old systems really suppressing the new and right, of course, the clamping down of the old as they are losing grip. So again, if you watch my other videos, check them out after this. I talk about all these different things as far as the transformation happening on the planet from the 3D construct, 3D Earth into a much higher paradigm. We're not going to 5D, we're going way beyond it. But it really is about introspection, reevaluating your goals, all the stuff that you need to be looking inward on, okay? We need to be adaptable too, because there's gonna be lots of craziness going on. And if you're always freaking out because of the next thing, well, it's gonna be very hard on the nervous system. So remember to use all these different things. It's the micro daily habits. It's the going calm, it's the inward, right? This is what retrograde season is all about. We also have Jupiter that's going to be going retrograde in a couple days. Okay, now this is adding to the pile of all the other retrogrades. Um, now, Jupiter, of course, they always say is the, the planet of expansion. Well, so pretty much when it goes retrograde, it's the planet of expanding inward, right? Let's say contraction. So Jupiter will be in retrograde in a couple days, right until December, at the end of December, so the end of the year. It's all about really getting to the deep level of what are your goals for your personal life, right? You know, setting those tangible goals, going inward, you know, having gratitude for the micro little tiny things. When you focus on gr having gratitude for, you know, for anything, for being able to take this breath, for being able to sit on this chair, right? For that bird outside your window, you start to really put your focus on things that are positive in your life instead of, you know, yeah, remember the whole world out there it's a whole whole paradigm to push you into fear negativity victimhood um, again if you watch my other video um, for for predictions for 2023 I talk about this all right all the different techniques let's say that they use it's the same old ones and they're just using them in different ways <laughs> um, but it really is about how are you unique? What, what is your self worth like? Can you really work on that? Can you see how you are at unique expression of God source creator manifested in this reality, right? Instead of comparing yourself to everybody, how are you special and unique and really feeling that inner contentment that you are special right not not needing to run out there and figure out how you are special because you don't feel like it it's about that inner feeling of calm and of contentment within your own life a gratitude for you and for all the little tiny things so really start start setting those little tiny daily microscopic goals you don't have to you know think about the huge mountain you have to climb what can you do right now to bring more more love into your life to you know develop your self-worth your self-esteem what can you do right now to help your health to help your life in all ways right it's the microscopic little tiny changes we make moment by moment that will change your life. It's not the big goals out there. The big goals are, are good. We're not focusing on the big goals right now during September. We're focusing on the inner, right? This is, this is a Virgo season. This is the inner purity, the purification of the internal you. Okay, so that one is just about to begin, right? As far as all the chaos in the world, how can we develop the inner garden and feel safe and feel unique and special to blast off in this world when things start going direct because you know you're gonna feel like a mountain of you know resistance but that is what we need to work through now we also have chiron that's also in retrograde now chiron of course um if you heard is it's an asteroid called the wounded healer so it really 
uh, represents those those deepest darkest traumas and wounds within ourself um, that are actually meant not to be our weaknesses but meant to be that point of potential that point of personal power right you know i mean if you heard me talk before your your weaknesses are actually your biggest strengths um you can watch by the video darkness is unrealized potential because it really is it's you know whether it's past lives being you know literally killed for our gifts or whether it's just you know i'm in our childhood where where other kids didn't like that we were good at something and so they constantly you know made fun of us until we just stopped doing it all the different little you know things that keep us keep us unique and special you know all the little weirdo habits i love weird <laughs> we should embrace the weird um so yeah the traumas the wounds the shadow it, you know it really is a time to not just you know go into healing mode so that's a, uh, actually another thing i want to talk about actually in a separate video sometime is you know because i did it myself which is being in healing mode for years right gotta heal this gotta heal that so you're always in kind of that active healing mode well what if we loved and had compassion for our shadow our supposed negative or traumas our wounds what if we just sat with them and realized that that primordial rage coming up with you isn't just something to get out quickly and move on it's something to really feel and look at and love and 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 you know loving every nook and cranny of you that is where you can then transform those wounds into your highest potential right not about just dissolving the wounds and moving on to the next you know because that's because that can go on and on and on we, you know we have healing is unlimited let me tell you you know when you think you're done healing your own well now you're healing your soul group then you're healing your over soul group then you're he healing your avatar group now you're healing the whole entire creation right so so you think you're done healing no now you're healing on a collective level so it really is about if you don't love and have compassion for those little tiny parts of you that you are embarrassed by you know that you know maybe something that you think because the world projected on you that something was you know ooh, you know you know that's horrible that you t you know that you talk too loud or that's horrible that you act like that well maybe it's it was a projection from other people that you took on as now that's your apparent weakness so it's all these different things we need to look at and realize that we are so special and that is why the world is trying to break people down to the nth degree right now they need people at the bottom right because when you are suffering when you are at the absolute you know when you feel like you're so small then it's pretty easy to be taking advantage of it's pretty easy to be taken control of so when you love every little bit of yourself that's what really true shadow work is um, if you're not um, if you need a lot more take my course ascension magic where i go into you know deeper levels of many mind-blowing topics um one of them being shadow work because really it's when you do your shadow work you you're not triggered by everyone else's you know individuality or everyone else that doesn't get it right they can't see what you can see so you really develop just that ability to see that everything whether it's a shadow aspect a wound or a trauma or something amazing is actually all a unique expression and you can use all of that to create and express from your highest power in the world that is true sovereignty you know that the biggest industry that is hijacked on this planet is spirituality they don't want you to dive deep into the darkness because that would then bring that to light right they want you to avoid it to hope it goes away the further you run from something guess what you create a separation you create a hole within yourself a void where you're picking and choosing what you will you know what you will harmonize with but the key is we go into harmony by not focusing on the bad right? we don't want to feed the bad like talk about in in the last video all the people that just need to know the next thing 
that's feeding the old. That's feeding that you are the small and have no power. We need to feed ourselves within. And then we express our highest expression in the world and we become a leader for others. We become an activator for others. We start allowing others to know it's safe to speak out, to follow their dreams, to say no, enough is enough, right? And we do it by being that, not by knowing things, by being it and by also taking that action in the world. Because ascension isn't about waiting for some solar flash or, you know, the space brothers to save you or something. It is about absolutely letting go of all of that inauthenticity and going deep within the core of yourself. I hope I earned a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below what you guys are going through. It really helps others.